guys, Miss Saint Ellie here, and welcome back to another episode of Tales of Vesperia. In the last episode, we healed Halura's tree, and we were on our way to Ospio. But we're not doing that quite yet, and what is wrong with my controller? There it goes. Anyway, we're fighting this really quick because I realized I haven't shown this monster yet. This is a Treant. It's level 10, 1,300 HP, and is weak to fire. Which doesn't really matter to us yet, because we can't really do anything about weaknesses. But it's still nice to point out. Kinda obvious that it would be weak to fire, though. I mean, it has, like, grass and flowers planted all over it. We finished them off. There we go, just a quick battle, and we don't have sandwiches yet. Right. Alright. That's fine. Anyway, now that we have that out of the way, we have a character skit. Eat or be eaten. Monsters are easier to beat than I thought. Isn't that better than being harder than you thought? But I feel sorry for them. <sighs> You're way too nice. I don't particularly enjoy being someone else's dinner. You're right. This is different from inside the castle. The strong eat the weak. Well, we're not going to be eating any of these monsters. <clears throat> I... I won't hesitate to defeat any monsters. But I will never forget what I fought or where I fought it. Well, suit yourself, I guess. Then, when I return to the capital, I will make graves in memory of all the monsters I've killed. I... uh... I guess you could do that. I don't understand this girl at all. <sighs> Whatever floats your boat, Estelle. Anyway, now that we're done with that, onward to Ospio. It looks like this is Ospio. It's so gloomy and damp here. It's giving me the chills, too. It's because the city is in a cavern. I wonder if the lack of sun drives the people here to do shady things, like stealing Blastia cores. Okay, this is the City of Shade. And you know, even though it's kind of dark and gloomy and stuff like that, I kind of like this city. It has a really interesting design, and it's, good, it's a really good concept. Especially once you get to, like, the, um, town square, if you can call it that. It looks really, really cool. May I see your passport, please? Of course, we don't have one. This is an Imperial facility. We can't just let anyone in, can we? You don't have one of those, do you? Well, of course not. An associate of ours is inside. Could you please let us through? If you filled out the official visitation paperwork, then you ought, then you ha you ought to have gotten your passport from this associate of yours. Okay, whatever. Bottom line, they're not letting us in. Mordio. M Mordio looks like Mordio isn't very well liked. Well, we can't help you. You only need to mail in a request and have a password officially issued to you. Okay, that's not helping us any. Excuse me, but did a knight by the name of Flynn happen to start bu stop by here? All information about the establishment is classified. We cannot share even small details with outsiders. Okay. No, of course not. Way to put him on the spot, Estelle. Could we at least leave him a message? This isn't an answering machine, Estelle. Okay. Looks like we're not getting in through the front door. So when it's blocked off, what do we do? We find another way in. Uh, okay, yeah, whatever. We give him a beating, we won't ex we won't forget. Whatever. Of course we can. Let's take a stroll around, why don't we? At a last resort, maybe we could go over the walls. Good luck with that. Actually, that would be kind of interesting. I, I don't know how they'd scale these walls, but whatever. Okay, what we have here? A radish. Or daikon, rather. Or takwan, whatever. I, I, I don't really care. And okay. Ah ha 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 ha, whatever. At last, someone found me. I've been waiting. I'm Wonder Chef. I travel the world far and wide seeking gourmet food. So basically, this guy is a chef. You'll usually find me in disguise, a food con connoisseur, con connoisseur, connoisseur, 
I, I have no idea how to pronounce that. And it seems like you're one of them. <laughs> You've got potential. For that, I'm going to reward you with a recipe. Awesome! We can now make Salisbury steak. I'll give you this so you can practice. Okay, we have a bunch of ingredients now. For the love of food, bon appetit! <laughs> okay, basically there are going to be a lot of objects throughout the world that don't really fit in with the environment. I mean, why would a bouncing daikon with a face be bouncing out in the corner of nowhere? Yeah. I, I don't think that really fits. But yeah, whenever we see anything that kind of stands out, that will be Wonder Chef. Doors like this will never open when you want them to. I guess we'll have to climb over the wall and open it, for, open it from inside. That, that makes a ton of sense. Okay, so she wants to wait for Flynn. Which is probably going to take her forever. Or him forever. I just called Flynn a her. Shame on me. He'd never go for a plan like this. He's far too much of a goody-goody. Carol, what are you doing? There, it's open. So Carol is a lockpicker. Or are you guys into Thieves Guild type stuff too? Well, I'm pretty much the only one who can do anything like this. So where did you pick up this skill? I, I don't know where Carol would actually learn something like that if it's not from his guild. I don't have the patience to wait for Flynn to ha just happen to walk out of the town by chance. It was it was unquestioning obedience to laws and authority in times like this that made him that made me quit the Imperial Knights in the first place. But but. Okay, so even though she's really against it, she's coming with us. We're such a good influence to little noble girl. Man, a lot of Morio lookalikes here. Well, they're all in robes and... Yeah. Well, then again, Morio's robe didn't really have much color. Would you happen to know if a knight named Flynn came by here? Whatever. Uh, vandalizing ruins. I couldn't say. My research keeps me too busy to pay attention to things like that. How can you just sit there and research all day and all night? I could never do that. I can study, but research for every single second of my day and whatever. I, I just couldn't do that. Is there a famed mage named Mordio around here? There are people who want to see that weirdo? So I was right, you know Mordio. No, uh, I don't know anything at all. I don't associate with people like that. <laughs> well, it looks like Mordio isn't very popular. Tell me where the mage is. Mordio lives alone in a shack back that way. Go see for yourself if you want. Well, looks like we have our lead. You sure about this? Everyone seems to get all out of sorts just from hearing that guy's name. It's weird. Well, he's a blastia thief. It's no wonder people don't like him. He has a point there. Anyway, now we have a character skin. You know, Yuri... Your attitude, your behavior, they don't seem very... knightly. Where'd that come from? I mean, we're entering the city through a back entrance, like thieves. This coming from the guy who picked the lock. I'm just tagging along to find Flynn, and now you've turned me into a thief! We haven't stolen anything! Sheesh! <laughs> Poor Estelle's all worried about her reputation. Anyway, here we go. If you check this big... Thing, we get apple gels, and this is the fortune's market. Let's go ahead and buy a few things here. I, I need to fill up on magic lens. No, go back down. No, I said go back down. I don't need apple gels. This is getting tiring. There we go. That's good enough. If we go back, synthesis, we have more items here. But I'm not too concerned about anything here because, frankly, we can actually buy better armor here. We get a 36 point defense boost. Awesome. Okay, there we go. There we go. And there we go. We're done here. That was really expensive. Jeez. Okay, now come over this way. And we have a save point. Okay, now we're done with that. Let's go ahead and come up here. 
and watch this character skit. This city sure has a lot of books. I'm not really too crazy about reading, and I have a hard time sleeping in this place. Yeah, you seem like you're too jittery to sit still and look at something for too long. You're one to talk. Hey, what happened to Estelle? She's been over there reading books ever since we got here. Hmm. Estelle, time to get going. Hmm. Once she starts reading, you can't pull her away. Huh? Did you say something? This seems to be literature from an ancient civilization. She's not even listening. Wikipedia is at, at it again. Anyway. Head outside. And this is the town square-ish place that I was talking about. I, I don't know. I just like the design of this place. It's not some place I'd actually like to go to. I mean, it's really dark and gloomy and scary looking. But this is the wrong way. Anyway. It, it just looks kind of cool as a town design. Is what I mean. Anyway, this little shack right here is Mordio's house. Keep out. Seriously. Mordio. I guess this is the place. I think people usually try knocking first. Looks like no one's home. What should we do? No point in hesitating when you're heading into a den of thieves. No, I don't want us to commit any more crimes. I guess that means it's my turn then. What? Your turn? We shouldn't do that either. Nothing to it. Wait for me! Please, wait. Why does he always do that? This is crazy. Who could live in a place like this? You can pretty much live anywhere you can eat and sleep if you set your mind to it. Yuri, don't you have something to say first? Uh, hello. We're coming in. And the door? Carol here, open your door. Sorry about that. Honestly, Yuri. Excuse us. Is anyone home? It's a good thing no one's here. That means we get to look for evidence. Evidence indeed. So let's just check that and... Oh, check this out. It's a Plastia model. There's a lot of junk in here. Jeez. Hmm, whoever made this was pretty talented. It's a model of a Grand Blastia. It's not working, though. Obviously, it's kind of in shambles in a corner. Grand Blastia refers to especially large types of Blastia, including, but not limited to, Barrier Blastia. Read that in a book, too, huh? Okay, now let's check out this huge pile of books. tricks like that. Why'd you bother skipping town back in Zafias? Huh? Skipping town? Why would I need to skip town? For stealing the core of a Blastia from the lower quarter in the capital. What else? What? You're calling me a thief. Have you ever heard of common sense? Sure. So you break into a home, call the owner a thief, and wave a sword in their face. What the hell kind of sense is that? Dog, you stay back, you, you dog. And you, kid, give him back. What do you mean? The Blastia, the Blastia, give him back to me. What's with you? My name is Esteliz. We're terribly sorry for barging in on you like this. Yuri, Carol, you too. Sorry. So, what do you want? Well, you see, Yuri has followed a Blastia thief here all the way from the Imperial capital. And? And that Blastia thief 
wore a cape, was short, and their name was Mordio. So? Hmm. Well, Mordio is certainly my name. Rita Mordio, to be exact. And the height matches up, too. What do you have to say for yourself? I told you, I have no idea what you're... Oh, I hadn't thought of that. Follow me. What? Uh, maybe you didn't hear me. We're not finished here. Just follow me, would you? There's talk that some thieves have turned up in the Shykos ruins. Thieves? Are you sure about that? It came from an Imperial Knight who asked me for help. It should be trustworthy. Do you think that knight might have been Flynn? It's gotta be. Looks like she shot him down, though. Hey, remember what that guy outside said about someone vandalizing the ruins? Which means the thief who stole the Blastia core could be there. Hmm, maybe. Finished chatting? Let's go. All right, but don't even think of making a break for it. You don't have to come. If you want, I'll just call the guards. Why don't we give it a try? It sounds like Flynn might even be there. It's up to you. Go to jail, make a run for it, or follow me. Pick one. Okay, okay. We'll go with you. The Shykos ruins are even further to the east, once you leave the city. Rita, join the party! And this is the introduction of one of my favorite characters in this whole game. Alright, character skit. Rita's a little scary, huh? Really? She's about what I'd expect. Seems like she's in a crappy mood, too. That's because you broke into her house, Yuri. I don't exactly feel like being on my best behavior when I'm dealing with a core thief. What will you do if you're wrong about her? If I'm wrong, I'll apologize. You'd better remember that when the time comes. Oh, were you listening? I just happened to overhear. So you think I'm scary, do you? Watch it, Carol. She's definitely the kind to hold a grudge. Hey! D don't scare me like that! Yep, Rita is awesome. I love her. <laughs> Seriously, just having Rita with us makes up for all the fail that is Carol. I'm sorry, I, I don't like Carol, but Rita makes up for it. Anyway, this took long enough, so I'm going to end this episode here. In the next episode, we're going to be visiting the Shykos Ruins. Masenela out! <laughs>